we doing today, guys? Hello. Mm. <coughs> I got a busy day at the pool, so I'm kicking it on my yoga mat for now, and then we'll we'll move around as the day keeps going. Um. Looks chat. Okay. I'm still kind of recovering today from yesterday. Mm. Yesterday was a lot. It was pretty crazy. I feel like it happened like, it almost feels like it just kind of happened in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't all like, you know? We, uh, you guys were here for my pop-up stream yesterday. Um, I didn't wipe my out. I'm like so not together today. Um, it's not my life, but we're just talking about. Um, <laughs> so we went to the limo yesterday. We, we took the limo yesterday to a concert, and the concert was was okay. It was at the the 420 Lounge, so we did this like live stream. I did a little mini live stream out there. Just kind of like um, showing you guys a little glimpse of the dispensary and um, taking you guys to the bar next door. Me. <sighs> Bear with me, guys. I gotta fix some things. I forgot. I know the video is gone, so calm down. I gotta do some things on the internet. <sighs> I just wish things would work out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> oh wait, that was the right one. Dang it. So I'm gonna go. There we go. I was like, where'd it go? Here's the actions. <laughs> There we go. Mm -hmm. That's not fast. Oh my god, why? Start this. This is so annoying. Why is it in caps? <laughs> there we go. But bam, I fixed it. I was like, what is going on? Hi, Nat. I'm not hungover. No, I'm just like in a daze. I'm in a daze still. It's like, it's like, um, how do I explain it? It's like I'm not together yet. Hi, Jesticles. Nice to see you. Yes. Good to see you, Marcus. How are you guys? Uh, the pool's crowded today, so I thought we'd like hang out for a little bit, um, maybe do some stretching to prepare for a fitness February. Today is January 30th, so it does make our uh, second to last bikini stream for this month. So I'm really excited to finishing it off. I said no spins today, but I'm going to try to finagle some spins. It's not going to be it's not going to be pro level. We're going to be anti pros. We're going to be total beginner stream today. That's the vibe, honestly. So, yesterday we went to, we got in the limo, we went to the dispensary, the 420 bank to go to watch this concert. Yeah. 
And I thought we were supposed to be like, okay, so when they explained it to us and we were trying to get us to go, they told us we were going to have a section up top, you know, look down the stage and like chill out and be away from people. And they did not. And I was like, what is going on? So it's not what we agreed to. So anyways, we, we ended up sitting at this couch, which is okay because no one ended up bothering us anyway. It was great. But um, I don't know. Like we had gone to the studio. Like these guys, this is the same band. We were in their studio a couple of days ago and basically heard all their songs that day. So it was just kind of like listening to them being in the studio again. So, but they had like um, these s'mores. They had these s'mores, and like, they were, um, the chocolate was infused with weed, it's supposed to be like 10 milligrams each, but it's supposed, they were talking about some sort of like, nanotechnology, like, weed, so... Um, it's supposed to be like, so when you eat an edible, for people who don't use marijuana, when you eat an edible, it usually takes like 45 minutes, an hour to start feeling the effects and get the whole effects of the body. But uh, this nano whatever weed, but I don't know. They didn't explain it very well. It just said, here, eat the thing. And I was like, yes, I will eat the thing. So anyways, um, this nanotechnology is supposed to like give you a smoker's high is what they were saying even though you're eating something edible so it's supposed to basically help you absorb it faster like they were saying like the particles the i don't know the technical term but the whatever's is too small are really small and so it's easier to get into your bloodstream and they digest better blah 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 did it work uh, i'll be honest with you i don't know how fast it worked i just know that it i, I was pretty toasted we were all everyone was really toasted yesterday to be honest because like we got in the limo and our Lenore driver um was amazing because he had like literally had a jar full of joints i will send you guys a picture because we took a picture of it a jar full of joints was just like all right here you guys go y'all have fun so we had four bottles of champagne in the in the limo a whole bunch of joints more than we could count and uh, once we once we got to the actual dispensary, we were like, you know what I'm saying? We were already on a level. We had like, gone through like a bottle and a half before we got there. And a couple of joints. And then we get there, and then there's more weed. There's more stuff. Obviously, it's a dispensary, right? So, uh, it was interesting. So, they had these s'mores, right? These s'mores. And... But so they put like the graham crackers and they put the chocolate, the wheat chocolate on there and then they torched it, which I don't know if you can do because I was told like you can melt, you can melt chocolate and that's fine. But if you like burn the weed, it'll like, I don't know. All I know is we did get high, so I guess it doesn't matter. But they liked, uh, they have the graham cracker, they put a piece of chocolate on there, right? Or two, two pieces of chocolate in there, one on each graham cracker, right? And then they melt it, and then they take the um, the marshmallow and they like roast it over like one of those like um, those little like burner candles that people use for catering to keep like food warm and hot. You know what I'm talking about? They're like these little small cans, like small paint can looking things that have a little flame coming up out of them. So they were roasting it over that and making them extra delicious and gooey and yummy. Uh, it was amazing. And then. Um, yeah, they would squish them together and hand them out. And so I just thought we were just going to have one. I thought, you know, this is like a sample. We're going to have one. But then they kept getting more. They kept giving. Like, I just came by. Like, so I was having a time my life yesterday. So I was, like, on Instagram Live for a while. Then I was like, ooh, let's go on Twitch. And then I was like, ooh, let's go on Snapchat. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was taking videos of the same thing, like, multiple times, basically. You know? And, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Every time I'd come by, they'd just make me another one. I was just like, I swear, I'm not doing this to get more s'mores. I'm doing this to try to promote your brand. I'm doing this to be a good human being, and you guys keep incentivizing me. You know? So, uh, it was super good. It was super good. Yeah, I think I had like two and a half. Two and a half. Even my friends who... Okay, and then you know what? Okay, I think the dangerous part about these nanotechnology chocolates 
is that they don't taste like wheat. Like, you know, a lot of, well, I mean, you don't know. If you eat edible products, a lot of times it takes a bit that wheat taste. And it's like, ugh. It's not good. It doesn't taste good. And you're like, why? Mm. But I didn't taste it at all. At all. In fact, I felt like, I don't know, maybe it was like a mental thing. But I felt like it made the chocolate even better. Like, the chocolate, like, it tasted better than Hershey's chocolate to me. Like, I don't know, Hershey's chocolate just is trash to me now. Like, I wish they made that chocolate without the marijuana. Seriously. It is a super nice day here. I can't read names. Names are too, like, so if your name's in dark blue, there's no way I'm going to be able to read it today. It's just so far away. So far away. Yes, Ro. Animal products, specifically red meat, makes me feel incredible. What do you mean? Why? Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't Hershey's count as candy chocolate for some stuff now? Not milk chocolate? Really? I didn't know that. Hi, it's Rome. Good to see you. Yay! Hi, Rome. How are you? You want to see the pool? Um, I would show you, but literally, it's, it's complicated because all I have to do is turn my camera around usually, but then it's covered by a towel because it's very bright outside and I don't want my phone to overheat, so that's the only view you get if I turned it around. So... I'm not, I'm not changing my whole setup just for you guys to see the pool right now, but if you stick around, you guys will see the pool soon. Don't worry. They were sued, ago, they were sued yes. years ago for not differentiating. <laughs> so interesting. Oh my God. Can you tell me more about the studio you were in? Um, I, I wish I could. Are we going to get a hot new Miku, Miku single? Oh, oh, no, no, I wasn't there recording. I was there, we were just there supporting them, checking it out, whatever. Like, uh, we were getting food and they're like, oh, we're gonna go to the studio. And we're like, okay, we'll drop by. And so we did, and it was like, I don't know, it was behind some buildings. It sounds really sketchy, but it wasn't because like, it's like, so the way Palm Springs is, is, is like this little strip area where there's like all the shops and like a lot of foods and you like walk around, right? And then you go back behind there, it's like, um, behind the storefronts, there's like buildings and businesses and offices and stuff. So they're like offices hidden in plain sight, kind of. So, anyways, it's like an office room. Like you go down this like it looks like an apartment complex. To be honest with you, it doesn't even look like a place full office. It just looks like a bunch of apartment complexes, or sorry, apartment rooms. And then each room has like a little plaque on it talking about what it is. Like there's a couple studios. There were some like art studios like photography stuff like there were just different things in there it seemed like an art an art facility of some kind small business facility so it was interesting we sat in there and i don't know i felt like i felt like uh, i didn't really like the lead singer of the band because so here's oh i wish kimchi was here kimchi is always asking for tea so the tea is that like we met the lead singer right and he was there with this girl and she was really nice we were making friends with her she was super cool and um, she was talking about how she was a hairstylist and all these different things just seemed bubbly you know but anyways they had clearly been doing some like uh, legal drugs of the um, of the nose kind and um we get to the studio like after meeting them and everything and everything was good and he just like so mean like he was singing a song and he kept like starting and quitting and like coming in and out and then claiming he was having issues but not having issues but then i remember at one point he like looked over at me and he goes that's my wife of nine years i was like cool but there's no way because i'm telling you this girl like this girl looked like she was 13 nine years ago okay so no anyways so I was like, okay, and he goes, well, how hot do you think she is on a one out of 10? And I was like, a million, obviously, because she's, I think she's amazing, and she is a good looking girl. And he goes, mm, I don't know, maybe a two and a half, a three. And he, she's like right there, we're in a small studio. So it's not like, it's not like she didn't hear him. Like, it was just rude, right? So anyway, I decided that guy's an asshole. I don't want to fuck with him. Like, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to get to know him. Like, if that's the way you treat people you bring around, like, right? So then get this, guys. We go to the concert last night, and guess who's there? His real wife. Y'all. I was like, 
I really wanted to be like, oh, where's that other girl, your other wife, the woman you told me was your wife. I really wanted to, just because he was an asshole. Like, you know, I really stay out of people's businesses, and I, I did. But I really wanted to. I really wanted to. You're shocked that creators are degenerates? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just, no, I just, you know what I, I'm like, it's one thing to be doing scandalous shit behind people's back. It's another thing to be a total asshole about it. You know what I'm saying? Just did not like that. It's okay. With the way it's going, I feel like I feel like she's probably with him for the money. She probably knows that he's a giant idiot, and she is just trying to make this worth her while as long as possible. That's what I hope for her. Good morning, Kevin. How are you? I know. How do you know? Wrong model. <laughs> Oh, are you, I'm, I'm having to stream for a while. Yeah, but thanks so. though. She will hang on in case he makes it. I don't know. To be honest with you guys, it's not that their songs were bad. It's that their songs were repetitive. They would have one good line and then they would just repeat it for like every verse and bar. And I'm like, can we not? Like the one song is like bottom of the bottle. It's like something like. You pick up the bottle, you drink it away, you're gonna find yourself at the bottom of the bottle. And then they say that like literally eight more times. And I'm like, okay, it was a cool line the first two, three times, but now that I've heard it eight times consecutively, this is the bass bone of your song, I can't, I can't. It's a good song, you know what I'm saying? Like at, fir at first I was like, okay, cool, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it, but then it just got to, I'm like, is the, are y'all on skip? Are y'all on, am, am we doing like a, an IRL, like time lapse? Like, I don't understand, you know? And then it was like their other song was exactly the same way. It's like, it had one good line and then they decided to repeat it a million times. And I was like, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. When the CD, when the CD player shakes, and skips like that's what it felt like y'all i'm serious that's annoying it's not bohemian rhapsody yet the, the beat kind of makes the song so anything they say works i mean i guess but it's just obnoxious to me like i feel like when you're writing a song right you can have a strong or you have like a strong um line that maybe like makes the song or is a the theme of the song or is like that the, the hitting point that you want to get to but like, please don't beat me with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can't. Say it a couple times. I feel like, I feel like unless it's a long song, you shouldn't be saying the same phrase more than like four times in a song. Most, at the most. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, that's, that's like enough. I'm just saying, I heard the song one time and now I feel like I know it. So it's not right. Gotta have a strong hook that keeps the listener's attention, yes. But the verse is where you elaborate on the message or just talk about your shit, yes. I love how you keep putting dash Rome. I love you, you're so sweet. You are a sweet man. Sounds like they tried to use the Aerosmith approach to songwriting. Honestly, I just feel like it's one of those things like, they're good musicians and they care about making music, but like, they all, it's like most bands, like, some people care more than others, and I think the people that, that really care, you know what I'm saying, aren't the ones that are funding the project, or the people who are like really putting the effort in, like, are, who aren't really putting the effort in, are. So, you know, when it comes to that, it's crazy. Polo G has good lyrics and also beats and also hooks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get that like not every song's gonna be a home run. You know what I'm saying? Like when you make music, like you do your best, you make a song and you pour yourself into that. But like, you know, some 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 hit, some are flops, some of them are just personal. And because you worked so hard on it, or the memories or whatever it is that experience of making that music that makes it feel extra special, and you think it's gonna be better than it actually does. Um, or sometimes like a song you think is like a total flop is gonna like take off. But. Uh, I'm just saying, when you have, when you're performing five songs and two of them are extremely repetitive, I'm like, mm, might want to work on that. It would, like, I wouldn't be complaining if it was like one song, but if it's like, like when there's more than, like, we're talking like two thirds or what, two fifths mm -hmm. of a set. I mean, that's almost half a set. 
with like the same eight lines. Like that one Olivia Rodriguez song. What? Which one? I don't know that one. I don't know it. Hi, Rena. Yes. Rome is um the pro a music producer, by the way. In case you guys didn't know, he streams Tuesdays, Fridays, and I feel like it's. I think it's. I know there's like a day in between there. I, I feel like I know he streams three days, but I'm missing one day. Um, but he's super awesome. He's always in there doing fun things. Tuesdays community night, Fridays like probably my favorite um, stream because he basically like looks at all his projects. He puts them on a spin wheel and it goes over. And he like spins it around, you know, like my little spin wheel. And then it'll pick a song that he has to like that he challenges himself to do every week. He makes this challenge. He challenges himself to go in and in two hours finish the song, and then. Once it's finished, after those two hours, once, once it's been two hours, it's done, it's over. He can never touch it again. He can't fix it, he can't adjust it. He can, it's just, it's forever, you know? And, and I think that's a really great model. It's very um, motivating to watch, it's a really fun journey. I highly recommend it, especially if you guys are interested in producing music at some point in your own life. Um, it gives you a two hour little glimpse into like watching a song go, maybe not from nothing, but you know, a starting point, which is probably where a lot of like music producers, uh, who are people who want to be a music producer start is they, they start tiddling around and they get to a certain point and they have some little like foundations, right? But they don't know where to go. Where do you go from there, right? Like, what am I missing? What do I add? How do I, I feel like if you watch Rim streams, it'll really give you the insight of like how to, how to, how to finish it, how to be a finisher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Bum, bum, bum. I am very comfortable on stream, yes. I've been um, on stream, I've been streaming for like seven months now? Since June, or sorry, July. July, August, September, wait, yeah. August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, so we're going into, so we're six months, we're going into seven months. Because January to August is one month, right? Or July to August is one month, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> Women like finishers. Yeah, we like when you guys do the job and finish it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when we ask you guys to do something and you start on it, it's very nice. But it's like we wanted you to finish the job. Ah. <gasps> uh. <laughs> what are you guys doing today? Today. Um, I was gonna run to the pet store and I decided not to because it's so far away. I was like, why? But there's this one gate that I want. Am I at the pool? Yes, I'm at the pool. You guys, you guys just can't tell because uh, the places I usually stream from, I can't right now. Went for another trail run and now you're about to level your shaman in World of Warcraft. Wait, why would you level? Oh, oh, wait. Okay, I understand now. At first, I thought you meant level him like you were going to like knock him down a peg and like level him out, like you were going to take him out, you know what I'm saying? Not like you were going to like be leveling him up. I was like, why would you go and defeat your own shaman? I thought he was yours. I was so confused. I was like, in my head, it was just like you were like visually headbutting your shaman, like, I'm going to level with you. Get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, I'm still in Cali. <gasps> Pandu, your girl is here. Your crush is here. She's in the pool, and she is here. Ha, 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 ha. It is a really great day, honestly. Let's have to squint. Salami, yes. It's like probably one of the hottest days here that it's been. Yes. You're watching football. Oh, what game are you watching? How's it going? Is it any good? You're blushing. <laughs> Called you out. Called you out. Did the thing. Cold and raining here in Europe. You'd like to be with me. Come on over, baby. Come chillax. Come hang out. Come pretend to do yoga with me. Look at me doing all the yoga. I'm like a professional yoga person over here. Look at me with all the stretches. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, but honestly, it, it's so hot that like it's it's better to stay in the shade. Chiefs versus Bengals. The game is twenty-one twenty-one. Ooh, 
that's a good game. That's a good game. I love games that are close. I'm like, obviously everyone likes to see their team win, but I like to see a game that just is like nerve-wracking. I'm like, oh, you know, like keeps you on the edge of your seat. You're like, oh no, they're gonna win. And then it's like, oh no, they're gonna win. And I'm like, oh no, this crazy thing just happened and everyone's freaking out. And they have to do a play-by-play -play to like look at it again to make sure it was right. And yeah, that's what gets it all excited. Yeah. Yeah, hold on one second. That's a great name. I'm gonna make that the title of my, my stream now. If it'll let me. Oh, it's just slow. <laughs> Why won't you fix? There we go. All right. No, why are you doing this? I want to get back to Streamlabs. It won't let me. It did this to me before. There we go. I have freckles a little bit, yes. Oh, this is the this is the semi. I don't know what it's called. The semifinals before the the Super Bowl. It is very good lighting today. It's bright. It's very bright. I'm staring into your soul. How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel vulnerable? What are you hiding in there? I'm going to find it. You can't hide now. You had so much to drink. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. You don't feel like working? Should I call out sick? I feel like, I feel like what you should do is you should go to work and be there for a little while and then just feel like, oh my God, the craziest thing just happens. I have to leave right now. I feel like that's better than calling out because if you call out and it's like you were never there. But if you leave in an emergency, you tried, right? Right. I feel like if you're gonna lie, at least do the lie that's beneficial for both. Drink lots of electrolytes and take a nap. Yes, that sounds smart. That sounds very smart. Let me make sure my, my bits and pieces are put away. We can start doing a stretch. How about that? Let's do some stretching. Do you guys have your yoga melts out? Of course you don't, but it's okay. We can do some, uh, we'll, do, we'll start with some desk stretches. Some stretches when you guys could do at your desk. When will your, when will your gur appear? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I could be like, okay, here you go. Oh, no, oh, it's not so bright anymore, so I don't have to cover this. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, he's a nice pool. I just don't like, I don't like to swim. I don't really like to be in cold water. No, these are all my friends. These are all my friends. Yes, everyone is my friend. Don't worry. You do own a yoga mat, but you're not doing yoga right now. Oh, next time, next time. Okay, now I'm gonna fix the camera angle. All right, we'll start with some decks, some decks. Can't say the word today, desk, desk. We'll start with some desk um, stretches. So you guys can literally do this right from your home. Isn't that cool? Unless you're laying in bed and then you have to get out of bed. Well, actually you probably you don't have to. So I'll show you the little variations. You guys probably done this before, just like you've been in my stream before. Uh, yes. So we're going to put our hands like this on your desk or on your floor or if you're not on the floor, you're just going to be manually pulling back, right? But I like to do it this way. I think it's way more fun. So you put your hands down and you're literally just going to lean forward and backwards. Right? And backwards. So if you're at your desk, like you're literally just, you know what I'm saying? It's a little lurch forward. So you're just going to be leaning in towards your desk. So just a couple times, you don't have to do anything too crazy, right? And we'll get, we'll turn this way, palms this way. So before, if you're doing this, you're stretching from here. And what you're going to be doing is you're just going to tense like this instead of be instead of rocking your body. So this other one, just be doing the opposite direction. Your forearm's going to be up. And you're just going to be pushing back, pushing back. Or the way we're doing it like this. And just lean back. 
just accuse your best friend of doing some stupid shit? I'm part of a streaming group? No, I am not. <laughs> what makes you think that? I want to create my own streaming group one day. I feel like that's going to be fun. Make my own streaming house and just be a whole bunch of like really crazy streamers. I don't want to be a stream house full of like really inter like like basic streamers. I want to be a stream house of crazies, of weirdos, of like random streams, like truly random exper experimental creative streams. Like I just want, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for. Right? <laughs> oh no. I try to get my friends into streaming all the time, but like, it's hard. It's, it's a big, I mean, let's be real. Like when I first learned how to stream, like learned, uh, it took me a long time. Like it was literally like an everyday thing. In fact, even now, seven months later, I'm still learning new things about stream every single day. Um, new techniques of like reaching people or um, different features or um, lingo or things I can do, options I didn't know existed. I'm always learning stuff. So I, I mean, I get it. It's a giant learning curve for um, people. I think it's a bigger learning curve. Well, I think, I still think TikTok's a bigger learning curve, but maybe it's just because I'm lazy. Like with TikTok, it's like filters. You have to spend so long. Like for me, I am not a photographer. Like I just want to pose in front of the picture. I just want to take the picture and move on with my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to edit. I don't want to clean. I don't, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I don't want to filter. I just want to click and go and post. It's just so much easier. I don't have time for all this stuff. Who has time? Who has the time to sit there and edit every single selfie in their life? Like, why? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I can, Pandu. I don't know. If I make the big bucks, then it'd be easier. I'd be like, oh, look, I make the big bucks and you guys can. But right now, they all make the big bucks. I'm the one who's, I'm just the poor streamer girl. <laughs> So the other stretches we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of do more of the same. So this way, you're gonna have your hands, your palms together, kind of like this, and you're just gonna go side to side. You know what I'm saying? Just put a little bit of body weight on each side. My value is not demonstrated by your stream. Oh, okay, of course. Well, what I'm trying to say is that uh, my friends are big ballers. My friends do really well, and so like convincing them to um, to do something like this that is um, not it's hard. You know, it's kind of like trying to convince somebody who works in like a really nice corporate job to like branch off and try something different. And um, you know what I'm saying? Like they socialize with people for like a living. I don't. So it's not it's not it's not necessarily that, it's just that like it's just that like how am I trying to say it? Like they're very like money motivated and not it's just we we're we have different different perspectives on things. I know, Connor. They socialize for a living. I guess you could say that's like, yeah, that's like the nice, probably the, the PG way to put it. You will be lurking. Miku is almost 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. in India right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. In India? Yes. Yeah, this is guy who has a crush on Oceana. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm all Bro, you just probably just made his whole day. Is he still here? Pandu, are you still here? He said hi. <laughs> well, his username is Pandu. Oh, Pandu. Hi, Pandu. Yeah, we just go by usernames or fake names they make up along the way. Makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, I got your mail. How dare you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> His name is Pandu and he's an oil prince. No, he's not. <laughs> I know he's not. <laughs> Pandu is a student, I believe. I believe he's a student, if I remember right. Are you his like wingman? Is that what's going on, Iron? You know the saying, it's always 4 a.m. somewhere. I don't think that's the saying. How are you, Amelas? Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. 
Yes, bro. Go get your things done. Go do your shit. Ah, oh, Goof guy's here. Hi, Goof. How are you? <coughs> I know I read it to you the other day, but I couldn't stay. I've been having some issues with my stuff, my streamy stuff. So we've been doing some technical difficulties. Thank you for the lurk, bro. I love you. Oh, yes. He definitely made Pandu's day. Yes. Oh, Goof, did you stream today? Did you do the thing? I keep getting distracted from my yoga, guys. I'm supposed to be doing yoga. Okay, so we did our hands. We'll do our arms. We'll, we'll, we'll slowly work up to the other stuff, right? So we'll, we'll do our arms, right? So let me pan up a little, just a little, little. Thanks for the lurk, Pandu. I love you. You've been killing, wait, you've been killing it for a whole month straight now? Aw, oh, thank you. Love it. I finally figured it out. I was like, kind of having a hard time because I've been through like three different states this month. We've been streaming every single day. Um, I've had to move from streaming from my webcam to my phone because of my Wi-Fi and different things that I have to work through. Um, but it has really been crazy. Like we, we were doing reruns for the first half of the month. I stopped doing reruns. I think honestly, I really like the idea of reruns, but I think they end up hurting the community. So I stopped. You got, you got some good snow clearing exercise in today. Ooh, Mother Nature's putting you to work, baby. <laughs> no, nah, reruns are useless. They just ruin your stats. I was thinking, and my idea, my idea was like, I could use reruns as like um, previous episodes. You know what I'm saying? So people could, I would do a rerun right before my stream and I would hang out and chat and I would try to, I would just give away a sub here or there or, you know, just like kick it with people and talk to people. But like, it was just becoming too much. And um, it was hurting my views. It was hurting my average count. Like this one guy came in was complaining that he was seeing me everywhere. And I was like, how are you seeing me everywhere? I only stream on Twitch. And so I think that was becoming an issue. And the fact that I try, I try too hard my titles. I gotta just stop, I gotta stop overthinking my titles and just put dumb cutesy titles because that's what works. Like my long, elaborate, well thought out, like this is going to be great titles are actually not good. So, <laughs> so I just have to like accept that. But you're just not live at that point, yes. VODs get a lot of views. Actually, yeah, it's pretty crazy because like, I'm surprised the amount of people that watch my VODs after live streams. Like, you know, cause it'll tell you how many are live views and how many are non-live views. And you're just like, I'm really shocked. But to be honest, I don't know. I, it's like a, if I was a stream consumer, I don't think I'd really want to watch VODs. I like the whole point of streaming for me is like the social connection, being able to have conversations, be able to do things, right? So with the VODs, I'm like, I get it if it's like maybe someone like super popular or super famous who like trying to keep up with their shit. But like just these random people's VODs, I'm like, I don't know. It's like you don't even know what you're getting yourself into. You never watch VOD? Do you think people... Yeah, I think hyper. if people feel yeah, like they I need to keep up with what happens... Oh, yeah. that makes so sense, yeah. Like Hi, kitty! Like Every time you're reading at... Or you're yelling at chat, you read the titles. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. You guys not only been killing it all months, he's also been living it. Yes. Yes. Can you do the downward facing dog into a plank into a chaturanga into worry one? Oh, a what? A what? If you go to exclamation point age, they'll tell you my age. But actually, I'm 94. <laughs> it's not skateboarding tricks for me. <laughs> That's what it feels like. All right. So we'll do our arms. Can I do a downward dog into a kickflip hand plant? I totally can. For, but I need a million dollar donation in cash first. It's very elusive. Very, you know what I'm saying? So with this one, I always make the same mistake when I do it. Um, you want to either go before the elbow or after the elbow. You don't want to do it on the elbow. This is going to stretch your shoulder. I personally used to do it before, like, before the elbow or after the elbow. But now I do it more before the elbow, and honestly, I feel a better stretch. Your age is too young to die, but too old to rock and roll. That's so cute, Amelis. I love that. Can I steal that? Can I steal it? I'm not counting today. We're just... Why? 
Why does Underboob have to be banned on Twitch? It's so sad. Then we'll move on to another shoulder stretch. So we'll put your, you take this hand and you make it into a palm. And then you're gonna go, ooh, boop, and touch your other shoulder. And then you're gonna take this hand, the also a palm, you're gonna go, ooh, boop, and then pull it, and pull it, and pull it, and pull it, and then you'll hold it. Of all the things to complain yeah. about, well, I'm just uh, saying, like, uh, uh, honestly, uh, like, underboob is, like, so trendy. Uh, it's trendy. Uh, it's and trendy. it upsets me. Uh, it's, like, side boob's okay. Uh, Cleavage is okay. But no underboob. Uh, okay. Why? Uh, all right, so then you'll release it. Uh, and then you become a teapot, right? Later. And then, <laughs> not really, don't do that part. <laughs> so you'll move this hand. You'll put it on this back shoulder blade. That's where you're trying to get to. Um, the closer you are to this one, the more you're going to put strain in this region. You don't want that. You want you want the stretch to be in here, right? So you put it like this. Well, if it works on Insta, nobody's going to stop you there. That's true. Well, Instagram is like so vague. Like, you know what I appreciate about what Twitch is like Twitch defines what sexual content is and what sexual content isn't to some, in, in like some cases, which I think is very clarifying and helpful. Instagram's like, that's okay. Like this naked picture of Kim Kardashian's okay, but this picture of this naked person we don't know is not okay. And I'm like, ah, discrimination of non-celebrities. Boom, ba, da, da. Y'all, I had, I had one, and honestly, I just didn't like it. I didn't like, I didn't like it. Like, it's one thing to sell my mobile photos. It's another thing for like the the way the way people talk in those inboxes, y'all. It's like when you open an account like that, it's like opening like the other inbox in your Instagram. It's all like, hey, baby. You know, trying to ask for things and get to know you and wanting stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is not what I signed up for. Just find my things and leave me alone. So I quit. I think we actually have an OnlyFans command on there, but it, it'll clear things up for you really fast. Yeah. Outlets being shut off. I don't. I don't suppose you have a good portable power bank to charge from instead. I thought about it. I thought about it. Like one that's big enough to actually plug into a phone. I mean, to a computer. I'd have to buy one. I thought I had one, but I have to buy one. It was Disney's idea. Disney's a genius. Mwah, chef's kiss to Disney. Yeah. Yes, but um, yeah, tomorrow is, oh, so you guys, I don't know if you guys remember that, but we've been doing 31 days, we're doing a 31 days of Hot Tub Stream series, right? Today is day 30. That means tomorrow is our last day of Hot Tub Streams. Do you understand that? Do you guys, do you guys realize that this is coming to an end now? We've worked so hard, we've, I've, I made you guys nice and comfortable, and now I'm taking it away. Okay, so, so we did some arms, we did some wrists, we did shoulders, let's do the neck. I'm gonna stand, or sit to do the neck as well. Well, I can't sit the way I want to, but I'll let you, I'll kind of give you guys the, or the instructions. How was the concert or party or wherever it was last night? It was so good. The floor. It's so amazing. How about the how about wheel? Wheel what? The wheel? The spin wheel? Ooh, I can spin the wheel for you, Iron. Here. We'll spin it. I gotta pull it back up on my my phone though first. Oops. This one. Wait, where did you There you are. Oh my god, open, Streamlabs. Why? Now my phone is frozen. 
I don't know if you guys can see or hear me, but my phone is frozen. There we go. Oh, I feel like I missed so much trying to spin the wheel. A wheel pose. I don't know what the wheel pose is. Uh, I'm curious about the post hot cup content. Um, so February, our theme, and I don't know if I'm going to um, be doing a thing every month this year or if it's just like what we're doing for the beginning of the year for right now. But February's theme is fitness. That's why our current sub goal, you see it right here. Actually, it's probably right here. It's just right here on my screen. Um, our current sub goal is for a squat a thon. I'm going to be buying a squat. Uh, machine essentially and then we're going to be doing as many squats as I freaking possibly can until I just I, I die not literally but you know like my legs want to fall off and then they don't they just you know scream at me internally so that is the goal and I think February um, I'm going to do like um, a stretch stream with every stream you know what I'm saying to encourage us to like remain flexible to learn new um, yoga skills, new, like new um, ways to stretch at home and maybe help you guys out a little bit, like maybe some more like chair stretches, right? And kind of like expand on, on fitness. I know that January is usually a month everyone's feeling motivated for fitness, you know, everyone made their, their New Year's resolutions, everyone's getting all hyped up, but then it's like, you get there in February and you're like, okay, I'm tired now. I, 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 I can't keep up with my diet and my exercise and all this other stuff and then they start to quit, you know? Well, I thought maybe if we did Fitness February, not only does it sound cool, um, but it'll help keep people who uh, made New Year's resolutions uh, motivated the next month. So, we will see. We will see. Hi, Greg. You didn't catch the band name. Did you say the Soars? No, they're, they were like... Just uh, Destination Mayhem. That's what it was called. I was like, I, I couldn't remember their name at first. Destination Mayhem, something like that. January's the month where you're like, oh great, another 12 months of this. Yes. But I mean, January's not exactly the same, right? How was the rest of my night? It was good. It was super good. We went out. Uh, kind of like checked out a, a different bar and ended up like partying there for a while and then we end up going getting castanetas and I got these like I do this I say every time I've only done this twice so I've only been there twice but I've done this every time I've been there it's where I order this food and I only eat a quarter of it and then I pass out I'm just like I get the the hot Cheetos fries basically it's like carne asada, carne asada fries uh, but I don't do sour cream so no sour cream with um, hot Cheetos mixed in. It's so good. But it's way too much food for me. It's way too much food. I can never finish a whole plate of carne asada fries anywhere. They're always so big. They're like a, a whole to-go box full. And I'm like, do you see? Do you see the size of me? How do you expect this to work, right? What phone am I using to stream? I'm using the S20. Ultra. Yeah. So I went to something about the wheel pose, but I'm not going to be able to type that into Google, so you'll have to send it to me in Discord. Yeah. How much to live comfortably for a month? I think, I think for me to pay all my bills, it's like two and a half, two and a half thousand something 3,000 3,000 and then well it's hard to say because then I just I basically live my life where I pay all my stuff on my credit cards to rack up credit points and stuff like that or you know points and uh, I probably spend like 4,000 a month total like between bills and food and and uh, everything everything 4,000 more if I'm like traveling obviously because my travel expenses are more but then I'm able to to cover them with my works and stuff so it balances it balances out you know it balances out but I'm a you know I'm a little bougie so you know I have like I just paid off my car 
and like before before everything happened in Mexico, I was really like, I just, literally before Mexico, I I was debt free. I literally just paid off all my debt. I was so fucking proud of myself. And then this year was like curveball, but we're working on it. Um, credit cards are the devil. No, they're not. Um, credit cards can can be bad if you use them for survival. I don't recommend getting a credit card to use for survival. Like, you should get a credit card when you're stable in life and you have money saved and you know what I'm saying? The only reason, so they say credit cards are better than paper money and it's true because like if, if you're able to pay the balance of your credit card within, I think it's like within 20 something days, every credit card company is different, but it's usually like 21 to 28 day period. They, you don't pay any interest, but you still get all the points and all the rewards and all the stuff. So basically, Basically, if you don't use your credit card for survival, if you're able to pay off everything that you put on your credit card, like, you know, the next day or in the next couple days or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never pay interest and you're just constantly getting new rewards. Like, I get free flights and I get, you know, um, upgraded um, seating and I get, you know, all this other stuff. Um, it's great for they're basically free because American Airlines charges me $100 a year to have their credit card, but then I get $125 like flight credit every year. So it's basically, they basically pay me to have a credit card. So, yeah. Yeah, it's smart to use credit cards if you pay them off 100%. Correct. Yes. Bum, bum. That's why you have five, what? For different things. I feel like five is excessive. It's like excessive. If that actually worked, they wouldn't be able to pay you benefits. Well, you know what? You know what works, Jep Spam, is the fact that like, or you know why they can offer all these incentives? It's because most people who have a credit card end up in credit card debt. Most people who get a credit card get too comfortable and then, you know what I'm saying? Or like me, um, find themselves in a really bad position. Like I was in Mexico and I thought, y'all, I thought I was dying. So they were like, you have to have this money or you need to leave. And I, so I gave them my credit card and you know, and that, that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. So it's like, you know, it's not necessarily that people are always, it, it's like, you know, credit card companies do make their money. They do because a lot of people get put in these positions or, um, spend more than they think they have or something happens, you know? And then that's when they start to make money. But I mean, overall, like I think I've paid like less than $500 in interest the entire time I've ever owned a credit card. So that's pretty good. I've had mine for many years. Most of the country's in credit card debt, yes. Five is easy if you just use one for each thing like gas, groceries, etc. I guess I could see that, I could see that. But then I'm like thinking about getting a different one. I'm thinking about getting one, like one credit card from my business and then one credit for that, but that, and then like, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work though. You have credit cards, but you always pay cash. That makes sense. You only use it for hotels or emergencies. I mean, everyone has like, how you choose to like, use your credit card is totally up to you. Like I totally, you know, I totally understand. It's easy if you set up auto pay for the full balance unless you spend more, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people get comfortable. They get too comfortable. They're like, oh, I'll just put it on a credit card. I'll just put it on, I'll pay it off, I'll pay it off. And they don't do the math right. And then they end up with a bigger bill than they expected. Or they didn't read their credit. Y'all have to read everything in life, everything. Anytime they make you sign something, anytime, anytime you're signing for the read it, read it. You only have to read it once to get the things that are that you need to know. You know what I'm saying? And it'll tell you how many days you have to pay it back before the interest kicks in. Also, some of them will do things where like you can like, I don't know how to explain it, maybe like refinance big purchases on your credit card so you pay a lower interest. I know my credit card does that. Uh, my credit card is through City. So, yeah. I'm super hungry, I need snackies. Refinancing is a full on cheat code. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think that's what they call it, but that's basically what it is. Like, I've, that's what they've done is like, the credit card companies keep hitting me up and asking me if I wanna refinance my credit card debt basically. And then like, um, but it's, uh, but it's, yeah. 
but that's a different thing. A, a balance transfer is when you transfer one balance from one credit card to another credit card. But that's not what they're offering me. They're offering me something where it's basically like, um, instead of paying like 20 something APR on, you know, $3,000, they're letting me do payments. So basically what they do is they take that balance and they look at it as like um, a loan I need to pay back and then they break it up into payments. Like every month you're expected to pay $200 on this one um, credit or on this one item you would spend money on um, at a lower interest rate so it's not as brutal. Your credit score is just under 800. Mine was just, I'm telling you, mine was like in the, the high, high 700s and then and then, we'll just leave it at that, and then. Like literally, literally less than six months ago, not even not even a couple months ago, my, my interest, I mean my credit score was beautiful. And now. And now, so anyways, it's okay, I'm going, it's all, it's all gonna come back together. Like I've always, like even, even now my credit score is still good. So, so I, I, I'm not complaining, I'm truly not. Sometimes I have to accept the fact that like, I think actually I have to accept this a lot of times, like, you know, the things just don't work out the way you always expect it and like shit just happens and I've always figured that out. So it's, it's fine. It's dandy. Oh, let's do the, let's do the stretches now. Okay. Mm. So some neck stretches. So basically if you're sitting in a chair, this one's going to be the best, right? Um, but if you're, if you're like me, you're not sitting in a chair, it's still a good stretch. It's an easy stretch. Um, if you're in a chair, what you want to do is you're going to want to take one arm with whatever arm of your choice and you want to put it, you want to sit up nice and straight in your chair and then you want to put, um, your hands underneath the seat, like not underneath your leg. Well, I guess you could do it that way. You could put it underneath your leg. It actually doesn't work too bad. Um, and then whatever hand you put underneath you is, um, you're gonna tilt your head the opposite direction. So basically all it does, it gives you a deeper stretch um, onto this side of your neck. If you don't have this part, it's still a good stretch, but this makes it a deeper stretch. You guys have a lot of neck problems from sitting in chairs for a long period of time, from driving all the time, from whatever it is that you guys do. This is, this is the one, this is the one. So when I was in physical therapy, they'd have me do this one for like, two minutes at a time, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. Seems excessive. I'm going to come back to the center and switch hands. And then tilt. If you guys want to, you can bring your hand up and pull it down. Just don't, you know, yank your neck. You know, it's your spinal cord. You want to be very gentle. You don't want any bulging discs. You don't want any so, you know, anything get upset in there. Yes. And then, from there, you can go back to the other side, and you're just going to turn the opposite direction. So you're going to feel this a little more in like the back neck part towards your skull. At least that's where I feel it. I think the goal here is to have your chin be like mm, right on top of your shoulder and then the other way. Yes. You can also take your hand and, and, and kind of like push your face if you think that helps you. I don't think it really does that much of a difference for me, but I feel a slight, like a, a little, a little bit more. Yes. It's hard. Yeah. Well, you don't want to, the thing is like, you don't want to like push your body beyond it where it's at, you know, like your body is a an adaptable thing and it like slowly learns. So as you're doing these stretches, like you may not get as far as I do, you know what I'm saying? Which is totally fine. Just go as far as your body lets you without being in pain, without straining. If you're like having a hard time and you don't want to do these things, like stretching and things like that are supposed to be like relaxing, relaxing movements. It's supposed to be good for your body, but you don't want like 
You don't want to stretch and put yourself in pain. Like, it's not a workout. Your face is really good. Thank you. My skin is coming out really nice. Like, I have some breakouts and stuff. I have some little thingy things, but it's nice. You got the little, the lighting's decent today, too. It's got a little bit of a, not completely blowing out my blonde, but a little bit of accent there. How are you, Jim? It's nice to see you. I, I saw you came in yesterday. Yesterday or the day before? I couldn't remember. Oh, no, the day before. And I was having, like, te technical difficulties. I've been having all technical difficulties. So I, I saw that you made a message, and then I, like, literally was gone. It was so sad. So I missed you, but I saw you. All right, so we did the neck. So then I think um, we'll do the shoulders some more, like, between the back. I like this one. Um, you're going to take your hands, and you're going to put them behind you like this. You don't want to lock your elbows, but like straighten your elbows without locking them, you know? Straighten your elbows and just pull back. And you should feel this in your shoulder blades. And just hold it. If you can lift up, that, like lift up with a good stretch. Give me like a little pulse or you can hold it. It's up to you. Get some movement in there. And then we're going to go down a little bit. Well, like you're gonna bring your head down, but your your arms up more, and then when you come back down, push your shoulders down to the ground, down to the floor. And then we'll come forward and be and bring them like this, and then you're gonna round your back out and bend. I like to kind of bend forward, or you can again pulse, you guys like to pulse. I haven't decided which is the best head position for this, if it's like straight looking up. I don't think looking up is the one. And then we'll sh roll our shoulders back. Oh my god, my right shoulder, yeah. And then we'll do a couple where you roll them forward. Like we're rowing a boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. And then you're going back just a couple times. Because you don't want to leave your shoulders hunched. You want to leave your shoulders nice and open, right? Okay. Um, I don't really know how to stretch. Oh, I think I do. I kind of know how to stretch the abs. Um, you guys have to be at yoga mat for the rest of these. There's not going to be any more. There shouldn't be. Well, there might not. Be, there might be like one or two more. Like you could do like sitting, but um, it just depends. So we're gonna get to a tabletop. So you're gonna want your hands to be like directly underneath your shoulders and your knees to be underneath your hips, about hip length, like shoulder length apart, hip length apart, right? And uh, you're just going to take your toes and tuck them under. Um, well, I guess, oh, we could probably do this from a plank. So if you guys just want to come to a plank, let's just make it easy. We'll just come from a plank. You guys know how to do a plank. And um, you're literally, you're going to watch it. my elbows. It's just going to go straight down with my hips. So your hands should still be underneath your shoulders. A common thing that people like to do is that they they bring their, sh their their elbows out when they come up or down but the goal is to have your sh your elbows stay straight instead of going like this you want them to be like this and this will help stretch this abdominal region that's where i always feel this one they call this one the cobra i feel like it's really easy to see why oh but i like this one a lot But this is the only like ab stretch I really know. This is the only one I do. But I usually do it as part of a leg stretching sequence. Um, if you guys have been here for my stretch streams before, you've definitely seen my stream, my my, my sequences. So basically, oh, you'll tuck your well. We'll come down a couple times and rest. You'll also feel this in your back as well from where you're arching in here. 
Mm. So basically, I'm gonna tuck my toes and come back up into a downward dog. So a downward dog, it's it's a active position. It doesn't feel like it doesn't look like it. It looks like the entire time you're just holding, but it's very active. You'll feel the movement in your your shoulders and the pressure. Under boob, guys. Under boob. Under boob. Okay. So then, uh, a great thing to do while you're in downward dog is like you want to try to like get your head close to the mat as you can, as you can without bending your knees to compromise that. And um, if you want to add an element into your legs, you can bend your knees a little bit, like in a walking motion. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just taking a little jog. And that'll add in a little bit of stretch. Oh. You barely planked, but you did it. I'm so proud of you. I'm super proud of you, for real. For real, it means a lot. I love it when you guys do things with me. So, um, we did the neck, shoulders, the arms, the wrists. You can always wind out your wrists as well. It's a great one. Just little wrist rolls, you know, arm flaps. Shaking out your fingers, making sure your fingers feel alive and well. You feel every little, every little piece of your fingers move. Yes. Oh. Hello again. It is going so good. We're doing a stretch. We've done most we've done most of our upper body. We're gonna start doing our stretching our legs and then uh you know, we'll we'll move on. Uh you're trying to learn <laughs> yes. Hello, hello guys. Yes. I appreciate you, Salami. Time to turn this conversation sideways. How many women have hit on you in a single day? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think honestly, I never really notice when women hit on me. You know, I'm not. I never notice. I just, I'm like, oh, she just, she just, she's really nice. She just, she just really a nice person. You know, that's that's what it is. Disney has his hand hovering the band button. Yes, he's on his way. You're clueless like the rest of us. Well, I just feel like as a, it, yes, it's so hard. Well, I don't know. I feel like as a woman, it's really hard. It's really hard because like, I think for men, it's really, for, for me with men, it's pretty easy. Like I can pretty much assume in most cases, the men that I'm talking to are heterosexual. So it's really easy to be like, oh yes you're mine now and you're heterosexual and you want me and when I make advances nine times out of ten you're down for it but with women it's like what if I make an advance on her and then she feels uncomfortable and now I'm the creep the creep that I keep complaining about on the internet that happens to me all the time I don't want to be the creep I just want to be the nice person but I also want to to meet girls and date girls and to think like it is it's hard I do understand I understand firsthand my guys we can all relate on that together how many men have hit on me in a single day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think, that's not something I would keep track of, to be honest, but I've definitely been hit on more than five times a day. Definitely. Like, a maximum? Maximum, I would say somewhere between, like, a number, maybe a number under 10 in one day. This here count as a single day. I don't count anything on Twitch as like um, being hit on. I think you guys are just, y'all are just the lulls, right? Not because you're chat, but because you fear social connections of any kind, uh, connections, wait, wait, huh? What? I missed a part. You know that day you were literally swatting suitors away? Okay, they were not very good suitors. Let's be honest. What offerings did they bring? You know what offering he brought to me? The one, the first guy brought me an open can of beer and eh, red flag for women like that had to get drugged and roofied the second guy was trying to like he didn't offer he didn't offer me anything first off but then he had these sunglasses and they weren't even his they were women's sunglasses and he didn't know where he got them from and he he insists he didn't steal them but he swears he didn't purchase them all either so i'm like if you didn't pay for them and they're not yours you stole them sir but anyways that was a whole other ordeal it was an interesting day it really was uh, 
Does the whole body have to be tight or get to be loose to do yoga? I think there's different, so there's different kinds of yoga. So like I like to do restorative yoga. So I like slow, like nice stretching out, mm -hmm. taking deep breaths, like relaxing. I'm not into like, oh my God, oh my God, guys. I tried to do yoga this one time with all these old people at five in the morning and I was like, it's at five in the morning. How hard could it be? There's all these old people where I'm like, I'm not saying old as in like 50, I'm talking like actual old people. Like we're talking like 65, 70 year olds. Like I'm doing these classes with real old people and they were kicking my ass. Y'all, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I had to keep quitting. I had to keep stopping. And like cause the entire time it's basically, they were doing vinyasa yoga, which is where you breathe in and you breathe out. And with every in and with every out, you're making a motion. So every breath you're doing something, it's just like in, lift your leg, out, drop your leg, in, lift your arm, off, drop your arm. Now do this and now do this. And now I'm just like, oh my God, I did not want this at five in the morning. It made me look really weak. Vinyasa is the best in your opinion. You can have that. You can keep it and take all the classes in place of me. And I will have no complaints. I'm just not into it. Bye, Gray. You're going to do some shopping? Okay, send me. Let me know what you get me. Okay, make sure it's pretty. I'm a size small. In case you forgot, I wear a size eight for shoes. Seven and a half sometimes. Any guy, any random guy walked up to you and tried a bunch of one-liners? I don't think, honestly, uh... I feel like you get what's called a one-liner for a reason. You get one line, you get one shot, and once you've ruined it, you gotta go. If you, okay, if a man comes up to me with a one-liner and it busts, don't try to come up with me another one-liner, because I already know, like, you've, like, been, like, you're trying too hard at this point. Like, you're not having a real conversation with me. You're just trying to say whatever you think you have to say to get me there, and that's not it, you know? Aw, that's so sweet, Timothy. I'm savage eating s'mores, what? At the venue like a boss, they were so good. Did you see them? Did you see the process? It was so good. I'm gonna post a video of the whole process. Um, yes. You saw one, you wanted one so bad. Oh my God, they were just so good. Like, if I, even without the weed, I'm down for them. They just were so tasty. That chocolate was very palatable in my mouth. Who's not a bot? No, Goof is not a bot. Goof is a man. He's a streamer. He's a real streamer. He's actually partnered, y'all. He's a for real streamer. Very for real. Like full time, does the thing for like, you know, I keep saying for real, I gotta stop. Cause that's just getting redundant. Oh, Timothy's response seemed like a bot. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For real. Okay, we gotta do... We gotta do... We gotta finish the yoga, and then we gotta get in the water so I can be like, haha, I was in the water. And then... <laughs> and then we can, we can leave, right? Oh, I gotta fix it. There's a little glare. Hold on, you guys got a little something on your face. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get it. No big deal. I fixed you. It's spilled water everywhere in the meantime. Oh my god. Why? Okay. So we're going to. Let me back this up a little bit actually. Now that I have a little more space. There we go. Up. Your eyeballs. It's, it's okay. Your eyeballs will be fine. Okay. So, um, we'll go back and start at a tabletop. And we'll just sit in child's pose. Which is literally just, you're going to bring your hips down and sit on your feet. About shorter width apart. And I like to actually rest my head on the yoga mat. I think that's very relaxing. But some people don't like to do that. Especially if it's not your yoga mat, you're like, oh my God, what was on this before? Scary thought, honestly, don't think about that. 
But this is probably one of my favorites. This one feels so good. I feel it literally in my arms, like for me pulling the stretch. Um, sounds weird, I feel it in my armpits too. And then it's also a really good lower back stretch, bringing the, the hips down to your legs. I really love it. And then you can walk it back up. Right? Woo! And then come back down. This is like one of my favorite resting poses when I'm not actively stretching. And then from here, if you guys want to do a, a little thing, she is your queen, yes, sure. I'm something all right, yes, I am something. So um, from here we go into your tabletop and we're gonna do kind of a cat cow. So the cat is like, um, cat is kind of like when you're scared. Like you know when you scare a cat and they like round their back out? That's called the cat. And when you round your back out, you wanna drop your head for your spine. And then you just round back up. While you're moving your head up, you're bending your spine. And this is the cow, okay? So we're just gonna do a couple cat cow. So we're in the cow. When you're in the cow, you wanna look up or straight. When you're in the cat and you're bending down, you want your head to bend down with you. Really round out that back. That's what you're going for in this situation. And another cow. Ooh. You, can, you can definitely move with your movements if you wanted to. That would be adorable. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm just thinking about it. <sighs> um, if you want to add in, like you feel I'm pretty comfortable with this, we could add in some some moves. Who who just subbed in here? What is going on? <gasps> Salami, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you so much for being here. Let me turn my volume up so you guys can hear the alert noises. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Wes is in here. Wes, did you just give him a sub? Streamlabs doesn't tell me anything, but just when people subscribe. Oh, it was, right? <gasps> Wes, you gave Deja a sub. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Wes. Thanks for gifting Deja a sub. Thanks for gifting. I don't know why I just forgot his name is. <laughs> Salami, yes. How are you doing, Wes? It's nice to see you. Oh, what were we doing? We were doing cat and cows. All right, so once you feel pretty comfortable with your cat and cows, you could do like those little, this little like motion. I feel like honestly, uh, stretching is best when you stay fluid versus like static stretching. I just love static stretching. This is what I was taught. I find it very relaxing and like low effort, but uh, uh, moving while you're stretching is usually, is usually better. So you'll come back and we're gonna do basically a variation of the cat and the cow and the child's pose. So you're gonna start in the child's pose and you're gonna come up like you're going to the cat, right? And then you're gonna bring your arms down like you did in the cobra and you're gonna push back like you did for the child. Like Does that make sense? Ah. Oh my God. What is this? Wes, did you do this again? Or is this Misty? Congratulations, Misty. Thank you so much for the sub, guys. Um, I can give you a spin. It's just gonna be a little jank the way we do it. I'll be honest. So, spin the wheel. Let's see if that works. Ooh, I hear a sound. We have the volleyball. Oh, I can't do that. Well, I guess I can do it. It's just we don't have water. All right. Let's see how many we can do. I think my I think my record's four. Is it four or five? I don't remember. All right, ready? One, off, oh, two, three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I think those ones were better than the other ones. There's like so much more space. Yes. And you want to do a spin for him as well? Okay, I got you. 
All right, Salami, here's a spin for you. Let me set it up. I'm so proud of myself for finessing this today. Hey, there we go. The Dizzy, okay, I got you. But you know, it's gonna be really awkward because there's no music. Just so you guys are aware, there's no music. Let me fix this. This keeps happening, I need to fix it. Hold on one second, guys. And then we'll do a Dizzy. should be good now even though I broke off a piece so I'm just gonna count to 30 seconds okay I'm gonna count for 30 seconds and then we're just gonna spin because that's when we fastest unless I wonder I wonder I find my phone says no, so I guess you won't do it that way. Why won't you open? Hold on guys, my stream labs won't open. I don't know why. We're having technical difficulties today. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm gonna move it back. All right, we got 30 seconds going now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh my god, I can't myself. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I don't know why I kept getting closer and closer to the wall. That was annoying. I winded now. Oh, hi, Oki. I have a... I keep spilling this water, it's gonna fucking drive me insane. Where is the cat? What did I do with it? I have my beef bowl. That's it. Um. Yes. So we'll finish our leg workouts. And then, we'll go from there. So, We've done some cat cows. We've done a cat cow variation, which was this one coming back in the child's pose, lifting up into a cat, lifting up into a cat, coming down from the cobra, and coming back into the child's pose. Right, but then you can also do it in reverse. Oh wait, no, I did that wrong. No. I did, okay. Or you can also do it in reverse where you're here. And instead of coming up, you're just gonna come forward and then come up and round out. Kind of like a push up. Except when you're coming forward, you want your head to be looking down the mat and then when you're rounding up, when you're about here and you're rounding up or up, you want your head to be up. You know what I'm saying? Like push up and over. And this is more of like a movement stretch. From here, we'll do our legs. So, what you need is um, to 
to lay down. You'll do some easy, some easy stretches um, for your quads. And you're just gonna take and you're gonna hold the top of your foot and you're gonna bend it back, bend it back. And you should feel it in your quad area, which is here on the top of your thigh. Um, it's okay if you can't get it as far as mine. I'm just very flexible. Guys can't do that, I think. Yeah, guys can do it. Guys can do it. Basically, like, another way to do it is like standing. So you would stand and you would turn and you're just gonna like pick it up and hold it. I just don't like to do it standing for whatever reason it agitates my knees. My knees don't like it when I stand. My knees like it when I do it laying down. So I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. And then once I'm done there, we're going to work on the hamstring. This is probably one of my favorite stretches. You're going to lay straight. And you're going to put your arms out like you're Jesus on the cross, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, my pasties. My pasties keep coming out. Let me retie this. I don't know if I'm allowed to retie it on stream, so I'll just retie it from here. It's like first, my under boob wanted to come through, and now it's like my pasties want to come through, and I'm like, can we not? Ooh, they put up a new sign. Maybe I've noticed it before. It says basically like stranger danger. I'll show it to you guys. I haven't seen one of these signs since I lived in our neighborhood. Honestly. Okay. We'll just have to accept it. All right. So we're gonna basically put ourselves like Jesus, right? And then you're going to bring one leg over whichever leg you want. I'm picking this leg just because it's just to have more space. And you're gonna look, put your head to the opposite direction. So it's look, it'll look something like this. The higher you get your leg up, the better the hamstring stretch, if that makes sense. You might also feel it in here as well. I like to hold my foot, try to give a little more resistance, try to get it up a little higher. This one's my fave. It looks so lazy, but it feels so good. And turning your head the opposite direction really does help a lot. I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip over here and do it this way because there's this fall for the other side. Uh, you'll come out. I'm, I'm not coming all the way out with this arm, but it's straight. So come out, you'll cross over, right? And turn your head. tabletop you tuck your toes and you'll come up and this also stretches your calves so it's a two-in-one when you're doing the downward dog is really good for your shoulders it's really good for your calves as well just don't lock your knees 
because remember it's walking it out. Yeah, this is, this is probably one of my favorites for the calves, just to kind of get a good balance so you don't have both calves screaming at the same time. And guys, like just like that, we, oh wait, we forgot our hips. Almost forgot our hips. Okay, this one you guys can also do if you're sitting in a chair. What you're gonna do is this, this leg's gonna be straight down, you know, and you're gonna take one leg and cross it over. You're gonna make the your ankle touch your knee, okay? And the goal is like the more, the more this knee comes down to the ground or to your seat, the deeper the hip stretch, okay? So I'm gonna do this laying down. So for me, the method's gonna look like this. And I'm gonna come all the way out, right? And this leg's gonna come up. Yeah, this leg's gonna come up. And then I'm just going to push this out. Not super hard, this is just a little gentle movement, okay? Like this is not, I'm not shoving it down, I'm just stretching it out, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to lift this leg, by the way, I just like to lift it, I don't know. I just like to do the thing. You can also do it, um, you can also take it by uh, the leg I was lifting up, uh, looping your arm around and pulling this leg forward. Sometimes um, helps people get a deeper stretch in their hip. Um, I think when you hold it higher, closer to the knee, it does better. But these ones should open up your hips pretty good. Hi, Zardak. I see your name. I don't know what you're saying, though. I can't read it from here. Um, we'll do the other side. So you have your ankle to your knee, your knee and just bring it up. And you should feel that like, in, like on the opposite side, but here, like in your hip. Not your butt, but your hip. Yes, yes. Oh my God, and we did a whole stretch and then I'm gonna sit in this hot tub, you guys, and it's gonna feel like a dream. Oh my God. Thanks for the alert, Deja, I love you. Every time someone gives me a lurk, I love them. Okay, so let's move over. Now we've got a full body stretch. Wow, ooh, this water is super hot. Let's get the hot tub situated. Yeah, here we go. Get my, um, actually let's do it the other direction. Let's have it come, unless it's too dark. It might be too, oh, is the, the lighting's not good. So, I just gotta be careful with pointing it this direction because there is an address on the wall. Okay, there we go. So we're good, we're good like that. Yes, we'll just leave it like that. That should be fine. I'm gonna turn on the bubbles. of January. You guys are getting the best of both today. Isn't that crazy? Yay, bubbles! Oh, this feels really good actually after stretching. Oh, I just need a really good like uh, workout, or not a workout, shower. Today is a very good day. Yes, yes. It really has been. It's hard to believe the day is like pretty much halfway over already though. It's like 3.30. I'm just flying right by. So actually, Sojians, this is a hot tub. The pool is behind us. Also, hi. Hi. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't have a hair tie today. 
What did I do? Oh, I put them in a bag. Dang it. I guess I should wash my hair anyways. My hair probably needs a good washing. It's been a day or two. So it's fine. It's a fine yoga king's jean. There's a shark behind me. I hope it eats me. Then I can sue because it's on, it's on the screen. You'll sue the animal rights activists who insisted on, um, on allowing sharks to live for threatening my life. So bouncy. Sharks in a hot tub? Oh, it's like Sharknado, but like hurricane style. We will take all of their soy and hemp clothing in the lawsuit. Yes, I want all of it. I didn't know sharks had um, hemp clothing, but I do want it now. Now that I know that it exists, I must have it. I must have it. You cannot stop me from taking it. I'm gonna take it. Oh my God, you can't stop me. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today. Like the girls invited me to go eat, but I told them I had to stream and now they're probably gone. My other friend was still in bed when I last saw her. In South Carolina, wait, what? You meant the, from the animal rights? Oh, yes. Oh, not from the sharks, from the animal rights people. Yes, that's that's true, that makes sense. Never go to Florida if the alligators don't get you, the boa constrictors will. I've been to Florida. You didn't know, we actually did a stream, whoop, this month in Florida for like three days, three or four days, something like that. I'll have to change my name to Mako Miku, why? I don't understand. I'm missing, I'm missing the things. IRL stream while eating. Uh, we could go get food at some point. I don't know about today. If they, if you know, honestly, if they've waited on me, I can do it. But like, I don't think they've waited on me. Yes. Well, I think you guys should be able to go back. I don't know how long VOD saved for for you guys. I think for me, they saved for like a month and a half. But like, um, there should be bods in like the yellow bathtub. That was Florida. The yellow bathtub for a couple days was Florida. Yeah. I love how this is a hot tub stream. I've literally been in the hot tub for like maybe, maybe five minutes. Maybe. Not even. I feel like I'm winning. You'll have to watch. The yellow bathtub, I mean, like, I don't remember what I did in there, but yes. It was very interesting. It was very banana-y. Yes. Mm-mm. -mm. But basically, I think today we're going to kick it a little more in the top tub and just chill out and let my muscles soak. And then I'm going to get out and I will see you guys tomorrow for our final hot tub stream of the month. We're completing completing 31 days of hot tub streams guys 31 days of hot tub streams that's amazing i streamed every day for 2022 the first month like i feel like what a fucking feat i feel like i deserve i'm gonna make myself a trophy um and um what is it um a participation badge a participation ribbon and i can use it as a bookmark so it'll be very productive How did the the shining go last night? What's shining? My insides are cooked. Um, they uh, honestly, honestly, I think it's just my skin. My skin got really dry from being in the hot tub so much. So I've been using a lot of oils on my body. Thirty-one days of hot tub streams. Three hundred and thirty-four more to go. That is hilarious. You are so funny. So funny. I would do it if I, if I was like a full-time streamer, sure. If literally all I ever did for a living was streaming, then I could see myself streaming every day. Because then why not, right? But... Ah, what? What just happened? Thank you so much 
for giving Zardak a sub. Peeps, make fun of participation trophies already, but making your own is taking it to the next level. Yes, I deserve it. Why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I make one for myself? Hype, hype, hype train, hype, hype, hype train. Right? I'm going to bring you guys down to my level. I feel like, honestly, I, I like that a little bit better if we were... I need you guys short like me. Yes. There we go. Now I feel like I can fit a little more. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Yes. Oh. What are you doing today, Wes? You missed stream yesterday. With your chores and your... Your busy work. Yes, it's okay though, honestly. Wait, no, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. Because yesterday was the day that I was, I don't know when you left, I just know you left at one point and I was like, ugh, oops. I keep spilling water and I'm watching it make its way towards my laptop and I'm like, please stop before you get there. Please stop, okay, we're good. It diverted. It diverted. You loved all the bikinis too. You've had a really good, a nice variety. Thank you. You wanted to see you game online, but the casino date's set in stone. You can't change them. I can't change my date either. So, no. I can't change it. Cannot change it. Said the same thing yesterday. We're playing Pico Park. Um, you can catch the VOD, worst case scenario, if you wanna check it out. It's supposed to be some sort of like, it'll be interesting. So Pico Park's supposed to be a game where people work together to like get through challenges as a team to win. So it'll be a game that you guys can help carry me in. He just needs to ask tomorrow again tomorrow because third time's a charm, maybe. I mean, it won't be my, my only video game stream ever. It just, it's just the first, well, not the, it's not even the first one. I've played video games on stream before, like one time, one time before. Which also is really sad though, because my dog ate that disc and I was so close to beating the game and I was just waiting. I was just waiting till I had like three hours to sit down and beat this game because it's not the very hard part. And I know it's gonna take me three hours to get it done. And then he ate it now and now my progress is gone mm -mm. you suggested doing a but I don't play Valorant Valorant I don't play it I'm never gonna play it I'm never gonna play that game too many people play that game I don't and I'm not a gamer I, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it you want to see the dogs get the ring when you get home? Yes, I come home, I go home on, um, what day? I'm leaving Tuesday, I'm leaving Tuesday. So, I, they will be getting it Tuesday night and I will send you a photo. They'll be so happy. Your dog thought it was your homework, but ate the disc and said, no, the do my dog just likes plastic and it was in a plastic case and this asshole was like, ooh, delicious. I think my dog likes plastic because basically I buy them indestructible toys because they're really destructive. And when I started buying them indestructible toys, they're like, okay, well, since I can't destroy my toys, I'll just, just, just start destroying your things. And that's, that's the current battle I'm going through, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. She moves in mysterious ways. That's what I feel like right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I found my other bouncy ball, my volleyball. I thought I thought I had lost it, so I blew up another one, and it's over there. But it's got a, it's looking kind of rough, to be honest. It's like deflated a little bit, a little wrinkly. Progress is saved on the console, not the disc, so you can go back and be buying the, ooh, baby, you just fixed my whole life. You should train them not to chew on stuff by putting Tabasco on all of my stuff. Zardak, are you Omelas? Because I feel like you're stealing his jokes now. I feel like, here's what happens. 
you put hot sauce on it and then your dog eats it and then your dog makes you go to the vet and then yeah you didn't lose your my, my ten dollar video game is safe but then i just spent two hundred dollars on a vet bill to tell them don't feed them spicy foods it upsets their stomach How about you make a stream one day with a dog park in another city? Dogs would love it and several girls have streams with that. I've already done a dog park stream. Not good. Not good for me. I literally did one months ago. The math doesn't work? What math? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, it's I just know this because I hate the vet office. There's only one, it's not even like a real emergency vet clinic. They're fucking scam artists. And they just say they're emergency, right? And then they, they'll they basically, you'll call there and be like, hey, I'm having a problem. Can I, can I get in and see um, somebody for my dog? And they'll be like, yeah, we had an appointment at five. You know what happens when you get there at five? They charge you $200 for coming in at five because that's when they start doing emergency hours. And I'm like, you guys are scam artists. And then they just come in there and they judge you. Like every single time I've been, okay, I hate this vet office for so many reasons because one, they try to give my dog a medicine to put on him for life that he didn't need. Never had a seizure again. They wanted to put him on seizure medicine. They kept telling me to bring him back when he had seizures only to find out after the fifth visit and after the fifth time they charged me, oh, we can't actually do anything about the seizures but stop them. So you don't have to bring him after he's done because I live, I know, I live close but I live too far to like, my dog was seizing but by the time where he was done seizing, we were in the parking lot and they were making me bring him in and charging me money. And then when that dog died, they had the audacity to put the wrong last name on this urn. This dog was my childhood dog, guys. This dog was the dog that went and saw all the crazy things I've been through in my life, was there for me for everything. I was fucking pissed. And then like, I bring my other dog in there cause he's acting all weird. Turns out he had marijuana poisoning. He'd actually just got a little bitty nug of marijuana by accident. And the entire time the guy is judging me, judging me so hard. And I'm like, bro, I'm paying $200, 200 plus dollars to bring my dog to the vet to make sure he's okay. Like, if you think I don't give a shit about my dog, why Why am I here? Why are you lecturing, why, why are you lecturing me? Like, it's not like I was like, here we go, here we go, let's feed my dog weed for fun. Like, no, that's not what happened. And it's just like, I just hate them. I hate them, I hate them. And when I'm forced to go to them, I'm just feel like, I feel like I'm selling my arms to the mafia. I feel like I'm doing something dirty. I hate them that much. Yeah. You didn't know, wait, what? A jest about what, huh? What's going on? Can't you go to another vet? So I found another vet, but like I said, they're the only emergency vet. And um, vets are really hard to come by where I live. There's only a couple doctor, like vet offices. I found another vet and I finally got in with them. So I no longer go there except for the emergency where my dog fucking died and they put the wrong name I fucking earned. Sorry, I'll stop cussing about it, but it pisses me off. Um, I found another vet, but it took me three months to get in with them. It took me three months to do like a very basic, like new patient, like check out my dog, and put him in the system. So it was a really annoying process. And then it was super annoying too, because then it's like these people, the same people I hate, they wanted to charge me, y'all. They wanted $1,200, $1,200 to clean my dog's teeth. My dog was 14. He had five teeth, five, five. It was insane, insane. I hate these people. They literally just like, I live in a town of old people and you know, a lot of old people get lonely so they buy pets and they're just preying off the fact that all these old people have nowhere else to go because these vet places aren't taking new patients. Like, I don't know. I just want karma to come in and destroy them. I hope like, uh, I'm not religious, but I just hope that karma comes around and just destroys their business because they're horrible. He should get a gold replacement teeth. That's what I'm saying, y'all, y'all, it was insane. So I took him to Mexico when I got his teeth cleaned for $300. And I was like, okay, I can pay this. I can pay $300 to clean my dog's teeth, but I'm not dropping four times that because you're in the United States. Stupid. Like I didn't even spend a thousand dollars on my own teeth, guys, not even close to a thousand dollars on my own teeth. That's insane.
That's exactly what it is. They are mis misery profiters. Oh my God, I feel like that's what I'm gonna call them now. That's like the greatest phrase I've ever heard for them. They're misery profiters. I'm literally gonna write that in the Google review. What does Gandhi say? Be the karma you want to see in the world? Yes. Yes. Well, it's just fucked up, you know? And it's just like, people have come to them for help. Like, I remember one time I pulled in the parking lot. Oh, it was, it was that same day. I pulled in the parking lot because my dog was all lethargic and there was like this emergency service, some bullshit, whatever. And uh, there was this guy, he was homeless and he was living out his car and he came there for help because his dogs had parvo, which is really deadly for puppies. It's, and in pretty much in most cases they die. But this guy is literally, he's literally guys, he's literally outside in the parking lot cooking food. He's got his little burner, right? He's got his little Bunsen burner or whatever it is, his little cooking stove powered by gas. He's cooking his food in the parking lot of this vet place. Like he's that kind of homeless. Like he really is down on his shit. And they're trying to get money from him. And I'm just like, you guys clearly know this. This man doesn't have fucking money to cook in the privacy of his own fucking place. You think he's fucking got money? You think he's got $500 to drop on dogs? And instead of being like, sorry, we can't help you. Or like, oh, let me get some, like, let me see if we can find some services that can help you. They were just like, we need money. We need money. We need money. And it was just like the dis most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I'm just like, you guys act like you care about the lives of animals, but really you just want to make a whole bunch of money and profit off the fact that people have deep emotional attachments to animals. It's gross. Like, there's a difference. Like, I've never been to a vet office. It's just so like greedy, greedy, greedy. Like, you know, I would get if we were like, maybe if I was in LA and this is like some fancy schmancy like vet doctor, but like, I'm telling you guys, if I told you the city I was like living in, you would be like, where? A who? Never heard of it in my entire life. It's horrible. So anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining now. It just got me heated. I got all angry. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways. Anyways. The good thing is when they fucked up my dog's name on the- Oh my god, no. Streamlabs, no. What did you do? Go back. Don't cancel my stream. Please tell me you didn't cancel my stream. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, I was like, oh, oh. It's good to vent when you are with friends. Yes, it is true, it is true. Me and my furry spirits are better. Well, thankfully, thankfully, like when they put the name on the urn, it was a, sti uh, that's the thing that drives me crazy too. They made a cheap urn, it was a, it was a sticker. It was a sticker. They put my dog's name on a sticker and then stuck the sticker on a box, like, okay um but thankfully it was a sticker and not engraved because it was the wrong name so i just peeled it off stream labs turned this into face touching asmr stream yes yes why does it sound like asmr is it is it the bubbles People have told me, you guys have told me that it's, it's like the spa sounds very soothing to you guys. There are many places around here where you can see homeless but have been living their full time for a long time. That is sad. <laughs> And they probably charged me a thousand dollars for a cardboard box with a sticker. Well, <coughs> they charged me like I think three hundred or four hundred for the office visit to put, my, to put my dog down, and then the earring was a couple hundred more. But it just makes me so mad because, like, basically. I wasn't there for my dog to die. So they put this other person's last name on there, even though they had my dog on record under my name. Like, I'm just like, it was just like careless. And it's like, and when you're talking about someone's like, 
dog, like someone, you know, someone's pet, something that means something to a lot of people, like, it's just fucked up. It's like if they put the wrong name on, like, my parents' urn, like, I would, that's how I felt. Mistress Miku, can you eat Ming for teasing you? You are so hungry for human takeout food. Um, no. You can't eat Ming. Maybe next time. Ming, you have to be on your best behavior. Seriously, you love your dog. Everyone sees that with Orion and Summer and the cats. Aw, thank you. I do love them. I really do. They're so good. They're so good. And I noticed you guys really love them too, which makes me super happy. It makes me happy to you know you guys love my pets too and that they can bring you guys joy, especially some of you guys who don't have pets. Mm. With that being said, guys, I am going to start packing up my stuff and then we'll host a raid inside my house or the apartment or you know what I'm saying, the place. Uh, I'm just gonna get it all together as we say our goodbyes. It's really been uh, super awesome having you guys here. How much to go underwater? Um, if you if you donate like five gifted subs, I'll jump underwater. Sure. Self-swatting, are we? Yes. Yes. Well, it's okay. I can't do raids out here on my phone. So I'll have to go and do it on my computer. And on my computer... Um, this is a gift from God. <gasps> hey! PV Sage Man, I got you. See you later. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was satisfying for you. Ooh, and if you guys just got a gifted sub, make sure you say thank you to Sageman for making that shit happen. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even ready. Oh, I'm definitely awake now though. And it's so nice to see you again. It's been a while. Joke's on you, because no makeup Miku is the same Miku. <laughs> Alright, gotta get my other stuff. What is this? Ooh. So I always bring, when I come out here to stream, I always bring different things, like, um, thanks! I have my little streamer bag of stuff. So I have my markers always ready, and uh, a Polaroid. So it's one of the spin. We actually don't think anyone's gotten it yet, and it's not let the lowest. Like people get gift to sub a lot more than they get. Then then any no one's gotten the Polaroid one, but there is a spin. There's a thing on the spin where where I'll take a Polaroid picture on stream and send it to you. It's a thing. Now that I've said it, someone's gonna get it. But we'll do one now. Oh, thank you, Wes. Thank you for the bitties. The bitties. Appreciate you so much. Yes. Double bitties. 200 bitties. 200 bitties. Are we going to do a hype train before we leave? Is that the goal? Is that the goal? The plan? Where's the, there's the cap. I was looking for it. Um, let's see. Now I'm all cold. Is it turning out? Ooh, this one's gonna be a cute one. I can see it already. Oh, Y'all, I wanna see this one. Take someone beside me or to donate for the hype. Yes, someone, someone should uh, make this hype train for real. Who's gonna make this hype train for real? Oh my God, look at this fucking cute ass picture. Tell me that's not cute AF, right? That is so cute. It's still developing though.
Okay, I'm gonna put it in a safe place where all my other ones are in this thing of markers. Yes, yes, hi, aggressive, hi, hi, aggressive. Um, let me get the keys. Oh, uh, oh, I need to put this away. Oh man, I have so much stuff out today, I forgot. my towel to keep me dry so I'm not dripping all over the place when I get it in there and then water my laptop that I didn't need today take this you guys Woo. a hundred babies thank you Wes thank you Wes oh look see they have the new the new sketchy sign yeah Ooh. I was like why isn't it pushing Okay. <sighs> Do you guys have any plans for the rest of the day? It is Sunday. It's the last day of the weekend. You guys are getting ready for work tomorrow. Or a trip. Or a new life change. Miku, the suspicious person. Yes, I'm suspicious. Yes, I'm suspicious. Um, I'm going to tilt the camera down just because I don't want people seeing the address. Safety first. <laughs> All right. So, hi guys. I will come with you guys. Just need a minute to get ready. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Let me toss this. Oh, shit. So, let me take this. I just got to plug in my computer, guys, set up the raid, and then we'll get out of here. Oh my god, I have so much shit everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Of course, my computer died, so I couldn't do it out there. on let's see it's gonna turn this on there we go all right go to browse What is this on my computer right now? Let's see. All right, so we have someone to do. We're doing the. I need the. 
Uh, guide the raid. All right, bet, bet. We got you. We got you. So we're gonna go raid out Lady Boots, you guys. Um, I'm gonna drop the raid message. You guys can check it out. But bam, go copy and paste that. We're gonna go raid Lady Boots. Make sure you guys say really nice things. And I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? She's playing um, Silent Hill 2. I think she's a VTuber. That's what she looks like. She's a VTuber. But you're like those people who are like virtual. Um, her about says the mistress of corruption. Hashtag VTuber. Who desires more dark power and minions. So there you go. Bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Like you can keep the dick and dick